Hi guys, welcome back to the Revolution channel. So today's video is going to be a massive unboxing. I'm sat next to this huge box next to me here, which is full of the new iHeart body and bath or bath and body stuff. And I haven't actually smell any of this stuff, like unpackaged any of this stuff, apart from one thing, which you guys will find out in a minute. Um, but yeah, it's just basically gonna be an unboxing video, so if you guys wanna see my first impressions and reactions to how all of these products smell, and you know, what they kind of feel like and all of that stuff, then just keep watching. Okay, so the first thing that is in this box is actually some fragrances, and let me just get them out of there packaging. There are five different fragrances and different scents and you get 236 ml in here which is a lot of product. And the first one which obviously I have smelt myself, I don't know if you guys will already have known this from Instagram or like other ways of finding out but if you have no idea I actually have one of the fragrances myself which is super super exciting. It kind of like goes with my latest like palette and lipstick launch Um, it's got the same kind of like design, it's, it's like the exact same colour and it's got like the the same logo and everything. This is my vanilla and creme brulee body mist. I wanted to do a sort of vanilla -y scent because I don't know if you guys will have noticed but a lot of my products that have come out with Revolution have been based around my love for food. Like the lipsticks are named after foods, cake, fudge and syrup. In the palettes, like both of the palettes, the first eyeshadow palette and the second eyeshadow palette, there's lots of things that's lots of things in there that were named after food and I just love the kind of vanilla scent. So this is vanilla and creme brulee and this is what the packaging looks like. Obviously I have smelt this before because it's my own one but I haven't actually smelt any of the others. This is the first time that I've kind of unpackaged them but this one just smells so delicious. Like it smells like cake. I mean I know it's like vanilla but it smells like vanilla cookies or like vanilla cake or something. Oh, it just smells so delicious. Like, I actually want to eat this. Wouldn't advise eating it because that's probably highly poisonous, but <laughs> it just, oh, it smells so delicious. Its name is basically exactly how it smells, vanilla and creme brulee. That is what it smells like. It just, oh, it smells so yummy. I just love vanilla-y sort of scents in general. I think that they just smell delicious and I like smelling really like sweet and like vanilla. So that's why I went with vanilla. How many times have I just said vanilla? And yeah, this is the first one. You get a nice big bottle of it. It's like bigger than my head. It is super, super exciting that I now have a little fragrance that matches the aesthetic of my palette and the lipsticks. I feel like it's just like a nice little kind of collection range thing. It's really, really cool. And yeah, I'm just so excited because it smells so good. Moving on to the next ones. This one is called Pink Dream. And this one says on the back, it's a berry infusion fragrance. My room is gonna smell so strong after this video, but. Ooh. Oh my gosh, that really reminds me of something. I feel like this is gonna be difficult because I'm really bad at describing scents. This one smells a lot more kind of like fresh. This one is very kind of like girly, but it smells quite fresh and it reminds me a bit of watermelon, but it, do it says that it's like a berry infusion. It definitely has that hint of like fruitiness in it. That smells really good. I like that one a lot. So that's called Pink Dream. We then have Unicorn Sparkle, which has got this really cool holographic packaging. This one says it's a sweet rainbow fragrance. Okay, I'm gonna have to spray it on the other hand. Okay, this one smells kind of like sweets. I'm just so bad at describing scents, but this one is definitely a very kind of like sweet, smells like sweeties kind of scent, but at the same time, it still smells quite fresh. Like, I feel like this would be a really nice one for summer. I mean, I think all of these are gonna smell really good because they're all kind of like things that I like. Oh my gosh, wait, this one says that it's coconut. So this one is called Mermaid Splash, which is blue. And yeah, this one says it's coconut waves fragrance. I'm running out of places to spray these. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Okay, that definitely smells of coconut. It kind of smells like a coconut cocktail. And then the final one is the Angel Kiss Mist. And this one says it's fresh fruits. Okay, this one smells kind of like fruity, florally. Again, it's very like girly and all of these are very kind of like sweet, nice smelling, summery sort of fragrances. This one smells kind of like a mixture of like floral and fruity together. Okay, so those are all of the fragrances. I now smell absolutely wonderful. So those are all of the fragrances. Moving on, let's just get rid of that stuff. We then have some body scrubs, which I am very excited for because these are in vanilla and chocolate, which are two of my favorite things. And what you do with these is you just like hop in the shower and get some of this on your hand and kind of like massage it into your skin and just scrub your body with it, I guess. Or you could use these in the bath. So this one is the chocolate one. And let's just pick up a little bit, why not? It's kind of got like bigger grains and then smaller grains in there. I don't really know why I just touched it because there was not much point in me doing that because you guys can't really see, but it's got like small little grains and then some bigger grains in there which are gonna like really give your skin like a good 
scrub and exfoliate to get off like all the dead skin cells. I feel like this would be really good if maybe you're like into fake tanning and you know before you fake tan it's best to exfoliate. I feel like that would be really good for this or just in general if you want to give your body a good scrub. And then this one is vanilla. It smells like when you're baking cookies. And this is the exact same sort of thing. It's got like different um, kind of sizes of graininess in there so it will give your body a really good scrub so those are the two body scrubs we then have these which i think are so cute they look like marshmallows especially this one they look like little marshmallows these are the mermaid splash and unicorn fizz and i think these are just bath fizzes this one is in lime this one is in strawberry again i think we need to give these a smell mm. okay yeah this one just smells like citrusy sort of soap it's fruity, but not like overpoweringly fruity. So that is the Lime Unicorn Fizz. And then we have the Mermaid Splash. Mmm. Oh my gosh, these just smell like strawberry sweets. I don't know, some kind of strawberry sweet, but I can't put my finger on what. The next things are the, what are these? I think these are, yeah, these are also, it says rotating bath fizzer. Directions for use, remove all packaging, place it into warm bath water, leave to dissolve and enjoy your bath. So these are basically like bath bombs, but they're not in your typical shape. Apparently these spin round when you put them in the bath, which is pretty cool if you ask me. We have the pink twizzle. Oh, I've just noticed it's got like yellow and pink dots on it. We have the pink twizzle one, which is the berry rotating fizzer. There's then the stargazer, which is the aquatic rotating fizzer. And then the final one is the vanilla spin, which is also a rotating fizzer. So these are just like three different scents of fizzing spinning bath bombs, which is pretty cool. <laughs> and they've all got like little multicolored things on them. Wait, I think that probably means, I mean, obviously I can't test it right now and put them in some water because I feel like I've only got a bottle of water next to me and it would probably explode. But these ones, I hope you can see in the middle, have got like blue and yellow. So I think when these dissolve, they have like different colors inside of them, which is so cool. And then finally, we have the actual bath bombs. These are just your classic kind of bath bombs. There is quite a few different ones. There's actually six different ones that I have here, so I'm just going to talk through them. This one is called Angel Fizz, and it says it's sweet and fruity. Oh, this one's kind of... This one's baby pink with white, and then it's got um, silver glitters on it. Wait, let's open this up and give it a smell. Okay. Okay, so when you actually take them out of the plastic wrapping, they have like more plastic wrapping on them. Oh my gosh, that smells so yummy. This one just smells very kind of like fresh, exactly how you'd want your bath to smell. It's weird to say, but it kind of smells relaxing. Like, I feel like it's a very kind of relaxing smell. It just smells really nice and kind of like rich and soapy and just, just nice. It smells nice. I don't know how else to describe it. So that one is the Angel Fizz. The next one is Mermaid Splash. This is the aquatic bath fizzer. Oh my gosh. Oh, this reminds me of something. It smells kind of like Christmas. Oh my gosh. Okay, this one is definitely my favorite over the first one. That honestly smells incredible. This is definitely my favorite so far. And this one is like baby pink, baby blue, and then it's got like blue glitters on it. The next one is called Unicorn Sparkle. This one is so cute. It's got little like stars on it. It's blue, white, and then it's got pink glitter around the other side. This one says it's a tropical bath fizzer. Ooh, okay. This one again is pretty strong smelling. This one smells a lot more kind of like fresh. It reminds me of like the outdoors kind of like freshly cut grass type scent. This one is a very s fresh smelling bath bomb. And then the next three that we have are metallic ones. There is golden dip, rose gold dip, and then pink dream. And these ones are all just kind of metallic. Obviously there's a gold, there's a kind of like rose goldy kind of coppery color, and then there's a pink one. So I'm just gonna see how these smell. Oh my God, the golden dip one says pineapple. <sighs> oh my gosh. That smells so good. This one smells like pineapple mixed with the vanilla. Oh, I just got my lip gloss on it. Okay, this one smells delicious. It literally smells like pineapple mixed with vanilla. So if you like pineapple and you like sweet things, that is delicious. This one is Pink Dream. Ooh, okay. What's this one supposed to smell like? I was gonna say, it smells kind of like strawberry. This one is Berry. And I definitely get that berry scent from it. And then the final one is Rose Gold Dream, which says it's coffee and vanilla. Oh my gosh, I love both of those things. Okay, this one literally smells like what it says. It smells like coffee and vanilla. I feel like this would be a really good like weekend bath bomb if you wanted to relax on like a Sunday morning or something and get something to really wake you up and kind of like relax you at the same time. 
This smells so good. Okay, so that is everything. My room now smells delicious. Everything smelt so good. I'm sorry that I wasn't the best at describing all of the scents or anything. Um, but yeah, those are all of the new iHeart Bath and Body products. I really hope you guys love them. I will put the link down below where you can get these from. And yeah, I guess that is all I have to say. So if you guys aren't already subscribed to the Revolution channel, you can press the subscribe button down below. Also make sure you turn on our notifications if you want to find out like more about latest releases because as you guys know, they just come out all the time. So yeah, I hope you guys are all doing really well and I will see you in the next video. Bye.